Right. So I do mm. think it's possible that at the moment there's one civilization in the Milky Way. Holy wow, this is amazing. We are going to be, we're going to be learning so much in the coming decades. The largest and most powerful space telescope built to date is the James Webb Space Telescope. It is the most expensive telescope ever sent into space. Its mission, which will probably last five to ten years, is providing data that is changing our understanding of the universe. Additionally, it brings scientists closer than ever to the beginning of time by providing glimpses of sites that have long been predicted but have never been observed, such as the formation of galaxies and the first star's light. In an astounding revelation this week, videos have been all over the Internet claiming that NASA discovered city lights on an other planet. But what is the truth behind this? Join us today to find out. NASA's history of space exploration successes laid the foundation for the ambitious James Webb Space Telescope program. However, this was not the first time something like this happened. The NASA flagship Hubble Space Telescope, which was launched in 1990, provided groundbreaking new insights into the universe and encouraged efforts to explore farther into space. The Hubble Space Telescope is a symbol of humanity's efforts to understand the universe. Its main goals were to conduct groundbreaking scientific study, take breathtaking pictures, and solve the mysteries of the universe. It was launched with the goal to overcome Earth's atmosphere's limitations on astronomical observations. Launched in December 2021, the James Webb Space Telescope is the most advanced space telescope ever constructed, developed as a collaborative effort between NASA, the European Space Agency, and the Canadian Space Agency. Positioned at the second Lagrange point, about 1.5 million kilometers from Earth, the James Webb Telescope is equipped with cutting-edge instruments designed to capture high-resolution images and spectra in the infrared range. Recently, a viral video is making these wild claims that Webb discovered city lights on WASP-96b, a gas giant planet orbiting a sun-like star that is 1,120 light-years from Earth. Its mass is around half that of Jupiter, but it is greater than that of Saturn. Luckily, for whatever reason, ground-based studies in 2018 showed that this specific planet has clean skies, which is beneficial to astronomers who wish to look in. However, the remarkable discovery of city lights isn't actually true. NASA hasn't located a distant city, but the James Webb Telescope can detect infrared light. Situated around 1,120 light-years away from Earth, WASP-96b is a real planet with an atmosphere rich in sodium that revolves around its star every 3.4 days. However, WASP-96b spectrographic data has been made available by James Webb. The Webb observations also reveal evidence of some previously undetected clouds, hazes, and water vapor. However, the planet has a temperature greater than 1,000 degrees Fahrenheit, and city lights certainly weren't discovered there. The whole thing might be fake, but the James Webb Telescope can detect a type of light called infrared, which is beyond the red end of the visible spectrum. This light holds clues to mysteries from the beginning of everything in the universe, including the earliest stars and galaxies. In 2023, the telescope detected light from a small, Earth-like planet called TRAPPIST-1b and found that it is too hot for humans. To find the planet's thermal emission, astronomers used Webb's MIRI Mid-Infrared Camera. Imagine having a heat-sensing Terminator vision. They discovered that TRAPPIST-1b, the Earth-like planet, is most likely inhospitable due to its extreme heat, 
with a temperature of roughly 450 degrees Fahrenheit, 232 degrees Celsius, similar to that of an oven, and that it most likely has no atmosphere. But it was still an amazing finding made by the telescope. The James Webb Space Telescope, which has been consistently generating remarkable findings since its launch, has achieved yet another groundbreaking first with this discovery. That marked the first time that any kind of light from an exoplanet as small and cold as the rocky planets in our own solar system had been detected. Such faint mid-infrared light has never been measured by a telescope before, due to its lack of sensitivity. The astronomical community was excited when the seven TRAPPIST-1 exoplanets were first discovered because they are all roughly the size of Earth and are situated in the habitable zone of their star, the space where a planet's surface is just the right distance away from its star for liquid water to exist. At a staggering 235 trillion miles away, the TRAPPIST-1 planets are currently beyond human reach. So don't get too excited about a new world for humanity just yet. They also circle M Dwarf Star, which is a star that is considerably smaller and redder than our Sun. These stars are twice as likely to host rocky planets as stars like our Sun, and there are ten times as many of them in the Milky Way as there are stars like our Sun. Astronomers looking for habitable planets should definitely target these numerous M Dwarf Stars, as it is more convenient to examine rocky planets near smaller stars. There is, however, a catch. M dwarfs emit high energy rays that can harm planet atmospheres or emerging extraterrestrial life because they are far more active than our sun. It was impossible to tell from earlier observations of TRAPPIST-1b whether the object was a barren rock or whether it actually had an atmosphere. One side of the planet is trapped in everlasting night while the other is continually facing its star because the planet is tidally locked to its star. According to simulations, the planet's temperature would be lower if it had an atmosphere, since the air would disperse the heat to all directions. However, the web detected a noticeably higher temperature, suggesting the absence of an atmosphere and removing another planet off humanity's list of potentially habitable worlds. But the details of TRAPPIST-1b aren't actually what's exciting about this. Rather, what's important to remember is that the James Webb can do these kinds of observations and will continue to do so in order to investigate the temperatures and atmospheres of numerous more planets. These discoveries cast doubt on accepted astronomical theories, stimulating interest and wonder on the possibility of extraterrestrial life. The scientific community has been shocked by the revelation, which has caused them to reevaluate their theories on extraterrestrial life and our comprehension of cosmic processes. Also, in an another amazing discovery, James Webb Space Telescope detected interesting lights on a brown dwarf. Last month, astronomers witnessed mysterious light around a failed star in an unexpected celestial discovery using NASA's James Webb Space Telescope. Astronomers saw infrared emissions from methane encircling a brown dwarf, which they identified as an aurora similar to Earth's northern and southern lights. The signals were probably caused by energy in the brown dwarf's upper atmosphere. The issue is that the source of that energy is unclear. Since methane is present throughout these brown dwarfs, astronomers were expecting to see methane, but they saw the exact opposite, not light absorption. The methane emitted light. What is the reason for this object's methane emission? Brown dwarfs are commonly known as failed stars, since they have greater masses than even large planets like Jupiter, but still aren't large enough to create the nuclear fusion that powers stars. The team that made the recent discovery, known as W1935, is still far from any apparent heat sources, such as stars. They also discovered another brown dwarf with almost the same composition and other notable characteristics. As predicted by astronomers, 
energy in the brown dwarf's atmosphere decreased with altitude. However, W1935, located 47 light years away from Earth, warmed at higher altitudes for an unknown reason. Although this type of event has previously been observed in planets with a nearby star that has the ability to heat the stratosphere, it is surprising to witness it in an object without a visible external heat source. For hints, the astronomers examined Jupiter and Saturn, planets with their own aurora. They came to the conclusion that W1935 might be receiving heat from interior mechanisms, similar to those on Jupiter and Saturn. Other possibilities include particles from a nearby active moon or interstellar plasma. Similar to the northern and southern lights, aurora are caused by a charged particle collision that causes a burst of heat and light to be released into the upper atmosphere of Earth. While auroral activity has been suggested as the best possible explanation for radio emissions from warmer brown dwarfs that astronomers have previously observed, W1935 is the first and coldest auroral candidate outside of the solar system to exhibit the signature of methane emission. Analyzing the light emitted by these celestial bodies enables scientists to gain insights into the chemical makeup of the brown dwarf's atmosphere. The presence of certain molecules and compounds, as revealed by the spectrum of light, can offer clues about the processes occurring within the distant object. This, in turn, contributes to our understanding of the formation and evolution of celestial bodies in the vastness of space. As the James Webb Space Telescope continues its mission, Astronomers anticipate even more remarkable discoveries. The ability to observe and analyze distant objects with such precision opens the door to unraveling mysteries that were previously beyond our grasp. Future observations combined with advanced technologies may reveal additional details about the nature of brown dwarfs and their role in the cosmic evolution. I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel for more interesting space-related content. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you in the next video.